How's it going, everybody? Rachel West and Ed Encina back with you here at Amelie Arena, where the Lightning are going to be taking on the Florida Panthers for the third straight game tonight. And Ed, they got a very important guy back in the lineup here, right? Yeah, Steven Stamkos will be back in the lineup tonight uh, against the Panthers. And, and he's had an interesting uh, past 48 to 72 hours, obviously. Um, yeah. You know, he missed Thursday's game with a lower body injury. And then things got even dicier because he uh, went on the COVID list for a couple of days. At that time, uh, you know, he, he, he tweeted out that he thought he had a false positive, and that was the case. But he still had to sit out a couple of days which, in quarantine, which means that he couldn't be at practice, he couldn't be around the team, he couldn't get treatment. So just seeing him back here on the ice for morning skate was a big thing. And afterwards, he said he's ready to go. Uh, John Cooper says he's ready to go. So they will get the captain back uh, tonight, and that's a big deal for them, especially uh, considering you know they've had a, a few injuries, uh, you know, the past couple games. Like you said, they have been dealing with a lot of injuries, and their depth has really shown through here recently. So, just how impressive has that been these last couple games? Yeah, so I mean, it's really hard to replace a guy like Stamkos, you know, Anthony Sorelli, you know, arguably their their best two way forward. So, uh, you know, when you saw thir Saturday's game, I think you saw it was really kind of one of their best efforts across the board, and a lot of guys stepped up. You know, Tyler Johnson stepped up with two goals, uh, you know, centering one of those lines. Uh, you know, you saw Jamel Smith get two big assists, his first game in 11 months, his first NHL game since October 2019. So, uh, and, you know, and now, the, the, you know, Stamkos is back. Sorelli's going to miss some time, but, uh, you know, we're seeing a lot more of this depth uh, across the organization. They made a couple call-ups. Alex fair Belay and uh, Ross Holton are going to join the taxi squad, which means they're just one injury away from being in a game. So, uh, you know, these are guys who really have – performed well we've seen them in summer camp we've seen them in training camp and uh you know who knows uh this is one step much forward to uh to them getting a shot in the game again as well yeah definitely exciting for them and something else that's exciting for everybody tonight there will be some fans back in this building a few hundred friends and family of the team so i mean i think the players are just as excited as the fans are for that yeah you got to think about how the uh you know these players you know, they went out, they won the Stanley Cup, they did it in a bubble. They, a lot of them weren't around their families. You know, they, you, you saw the, you know, how, how emotional it was when they returned with the Cup, and uh, they were able to share that. Now, they really haven't been able to share that with their families in the arena. So this will be a really important night for, for those people, for the families. Uh, you know, John, John Cooper was like, I didn't even realize that, 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 that today was the day that it started because these guys have kind of been in this daily, you know, rhythm of the season. And they played in front of fans recently on the last road trip in Nashville and in uh, in Sunrise. So uh, they've kind of gotten used to that a little bit, but it's going to be different, you know, knowing that your family and friends are finally going to be able to come out here and watch a game. And, you know, gradually what the Lightning hope is that this is kind of the first step towards opening the arena towards the general public in the next few weeks, maybe at the beginning of March, uh, to a limited capacity, probably about, you know, 3,800, 4,000 fans. And then you go from there. And obviously, there's a lot of things that come into what, what leads that, you know, the gradual progression of allowing more fans into the stands. And, um, but, you know, these are the steps that, that, you know, the Lightning have to take to getting this, this arena back to full capacity at some point. You know, probably not, honestly, probably not until next season. But, uh, but these are the steps moving forward. All right. Baby steps maybe, but definitely steps in the right direction. Um, so make sure you guys are tuning in here tonight as the Lightning take on the Panthers. Make sure you're following along with Ed on Twitter throughout the game, as well as Sports by Tampa Bay Times. And as always, be sure you're checking out tampabay.com for all of your Lightning coverage.